Welcome to TPM Vids Disney Beat, where we talk about all things Disney. If you're new to the channel and like what you see, hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon to be notified when we upload a new video. You can also find us on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. The D23 Expo took place in Anaheim, California from September 9th to 11th for the first time since 2019. The Expo focuses on everything Disney, but for the Disney Parks fans, the biggest event is the Parks panel. On Sunday, Chairman of the Disney Parks, Josh DeMauro, took to the stage and gave us some insight into what to expect at the parks in the upcoming months and years. There is a lot to cover. Now, if a project isn't mentioned in this video, it just means that there was no further information given at the expo. So without further ado, let's count down the top 10 new Disney rides, attractions, and updates from D23. Number 10. The parks panel kicked off with Jordan Fisher performing Happily Ever After. And right off the bat, Josh DeMauro announced next year, bring back the happily ever after anthem. In 2023, we can expect the Magic Kingdom sky to light up with happily ever after once again in an updated version of the show. This does mean we will be saying goodbye to Disney Enchantment. With Walt Disney World's 50th anniversary celebration ending on March 31st, I want to assume the new version of happily ever after will debut on April 1st. Disney had such a hit with Happily Ever After, and the show has such great bones as it was, so I could just see them updating parts of the score with songs from more recent films. It was also announced that a brand new nighttime spectacular will also be developed for Epcot to debut in late 2023. This means we'll also be saying goodbye to Harmonious at some point, and it's uncertain whether this new show will still use the barges. No other concept art or information was shared aside from the new show being in development. Number 9 2023 marks the 100th anniversary of the Walt Disney Company, and they're calling the celebration Disney 100 Years of Wonder. Now, Disneyland will be the base for the celebration, and beginning in late January 2023, a brand new fireworks show called Wondrous Journeys will light up the Disneyland sky. The show will feature nods to all 60 Walt Disney Animation Studio films to date. At D23, we got a sneak peek of the show's theme song, and the style of music is an interesting choice. It doesn't really feel like an anthem to a Disney nighttime spectacular, but we'll wait and see how that plays out. Then at Disney California Adventure, a new version of World of Color will also debut in late January, which will be called World of Color 1. Disney has said the new show will celebrate the storytelling legacy started by Walt Disney in a story told through some of our favorite characters. The concept art shows characters from many newer films like Encanto, Coco, Soul, and Moana, so it's going to be interesting to see what this new show will bring. Then in spring of 2023, the long-awaited return of the Magic Happens Parade is finally happening. Magic Happens originally made its debut on February 27, 2020. The parade only ran for just over two weeks before the park shut down due to the pandemic, so it's very exciting that Magic Happens will finally be returning to Disneyland. Number 8 Many big projects are taking shape at the Disney parks overseas. Construction on World of Frozen at Hong Kong Disneyland is well underway, and the new land is slated to open in the second half of 2023. Then at Shanghai Disneyland, construction on the new City of Zootopia land is underway. Some new pieces of concept art were shared, including this video of the Zootopia Central Station. Plus, we got a more detailed look at the building facades. Now to enter the main ride of the land, you'll pass through the Zootopia Police Department, where you're then met with Officer Clawhauser. This animatronic is so impressive. Now, no exact opening date for Zootopia has been released, but Disney's really been knocking it out of the park with these newer animatronics, don't you think? Number 7 A lot of exciting stuff is on the horizon for Disney California Adventure. 
It was announced that Pacific Wharf will be reimagined into San Francisco from Big Hero 6. Josh Tomorrow said they're still in the early phases of this project, but the reimagined wharf will also have an area to meet Baymax. It's sort of ironic that they're bringing a version of the Golden Gate Bridge back to DCA. But aside from the bridge, it doesn't look like too much is changing. No exact dates for this transformation were given. Then, just next door at Avengers Campus, we're about to see the land get a bit bigger. On the first day of the expo, Bob Chapek announced an expansion was coming to Avengers Campus. Now, back at D23 2019, an e-ticket Quinjet attraction was originally announced as a Phase 2. But instead, they've now developed a brand new ride that will take us into the multiverse. We'll be able to battle alongside all the Avengers and we'll get to meet a new villain named King Thanos. He'll be coming into the MCU via this attraction. Now, no other dates or details were shared, but it does look like the ride will have a 3D simulator component. Maybe something along the lines of Transformers at Universal? I mean, I could see Disney going this dark ride route. It would work really well within this context. And that wasn't it for Avengers Campus. Back in September of 2021, Disney released this video of the exoskeleton as a way to bring oversized characters to life. Well, at D23, the Hulk made his way onto the stage, and beginning the week of September 18th, Hulk in the Avengers suit will be greeting guests in Avengers Campus at Disney California Adventure. And since we're on the subject of characters at Disneyland, it was announced that beginning mid-November, you'll be able to meet the Mandalorian and Baby Yoda in Galaxy's Edge only at Disneyland. I don't know about you, but I want to meet Baby Yoda. Number 6 Right now at Disneyland Paris, the resort is currently celebrating its 30th anniversary, and it was announced that the celebration will be extended until September 30th, 2023. Now at the Walt Disney Studios Park, they're currently in the midst of a multi-year expansion that was announced in 2018. This new lakeside district will feature a brand new frozen theme land where construction is already underway. Now, Arendelle will connect to a brand new promenade in the center of the park, which you can see here in this new concept art. As you make your way down the path, you'll pass through many garden districts, including a new Tangled ride. Although the type of ride system wasn't confirmed at the expo, blueprints submitted to the city for permits revealed this would be a spinning ride like the teacups. It's going to be themed to the lantern scene in the movie, and the ride vehicles will be themed to boats. Unfortunately, there were no exact dates or timelines for any of these projects, so we'll just have to wait and see. Then the last Paris announcement was a brand new show called Pixar We Belong Together debuting at the Walt Disney Studios Park in 2023. The show will be replacing Symphony of Our World at the Stage 2 Studio Theater. Number 5 over at Disneyland, one of the biggest projects underway is the reimagining of Mickey's Toontown and the addition of Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. On the expo floor, parts of the model were on display and everything looks fantastic. Now the model didn't show any of Gadget's Go Coaster, but the sign for the attraction was visible, and when it reopens it will be retooled as Chip and Dale's Gadget Coaster. They also shared a brand new look at the exterior of Goofy's house, which will include a fun interactive sound garden. And Donald's boat is still there as well, but it's now crashed into Goofy's pond. The biggest part of this Toontown transformation is, of course, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Now, prior to the expo, it was briefly discussed that this version of the ride would be different than the ride in Florida. And it appears the majority of the differences will be in the queue. Once you enter the El Capitoon Theater, the key will be set up as a celebration of Mickey Mouse throughout the years. We got some new pieces of concept art and it looks great. It's like a little Mickey Mouse museum. Everything about Mickey's Toontown looks vibrant and feels very fresh. I'm really looking forward to this project. Mickey's Toontown is still set to open in early 2023, but no exact dates were given. Number 4 over at Epcot, construction on Moana Journey of Water is well underway. But if you thought it would be opening soon, you're gonna have to wait a little bit longer. It was announced at D23 that Journey of Water along with World Celebration would open in late 2023. On the expo floor, 
Imagineering had this model of Tefiti, which will be part of this interactive water experience. Once completed, she'll stand 16 feet tall. Journey of Water is gonna be a beautiful area to explore. Also on the expo floor was the actual statue of Walt Disney, which will find a home at Dreamer's Point in World Celebration. I gotta say though, they chose a very interesting pose for Walt Disney, didn't they? Then at the parks panel, we got some news on our favorite purple dragon Figment. Well, I am thrilled to announce that by the end of next year, you'll get the chance to meet Figment in person once again out in the park. Figment is back. I'm gonna have a lot more to share in the future, but our teams are right now hard at work bringing Figment to life. It sounds like Disney is developing something that isn't a costume. I think we can have three viable options. An interactive meet and greet animatronic like they have with BB-8 at Hollywood Studios, this free roaming robotic technology Imagineering has recently developed, or something like Muppet Mobile Apps, with maybe the Dreamfinder as the guide? Who knows? With Journey into Imagination being part of World Celebration, it makes sense that they're waiting until the end of the year to debut him with the entirety of the land. Now, nothing else has been said about the reimagining of the ride, but I think it's pretty obvious Disney knows how popular Figment is with guests. So once World Celebration opens, I could see them announcing a reimagining of Journey into Imagination with Figment. I mean, we could hope. Number 3 Earlier this year, it was revealed the Princess and the Frog reimagining of Splash Mountain would be called Tiana's Bayou Adventure. The attraction at both Walt Disney World and Disneyland is set to open in late 2024. Now on the expo floor, they had a model of the attraction on display. When we compare it to the original concept art released, you can see the tree for Mama Odie's house at the top is no longer there. That's because they've gone with a new theme of a salt mine on the exterior. So now it doesn't really look much different than what was already there. Now, during the parks panel, Imagineers did share a glimpse of what the attraction will look like at night. I mean, this looks gorgeous, and I feel like this will be one of those rides that really shines at night. Imagineers also shared a bit of the attraction story. The year is 1927, and to celebrate carnival season, she's hosting a party for the people of New Orleans. But she discovers her celebration is missing a very special ingredient, and she needs our help to go find it. We're then gonna join Tiana and Lewis on a musical adventure to the bayou as we meet some new animatronic friends who apparently have a very special role in the festivities. There will be 16 new animatronic characters introduced, including Tiana. The cherry on top is that we haven't even seen any recent concept art on actual scenes inside the ride. Just seeing the recent animatronics Imagineers have developed for other rides, I really hope we see this level of animated figures coming to Disneyland and Walt Disney World. Many of the film's original actors will be lending their voice to the attraction. This includes Anika Nani Rose as Princess Tiana, and of course, music will be a huge part of the experience. I think Tiana's Bayou Adventure is gonna have one of the best ride soundtracks out there. Imagineers describe the attraction as a love letter to New Orleans, and I can't wait to learn more about this transformation. Number 2 Back when I started the channel in 2017, Tron was announced at D23 that year. And now, five years later, another D23 has passed and we're still watching them build this ride. Well, construction has been moving along for quite some time, but at D23, it was finally announced that the new coaster would open in spring of 2023. They've been actively testing the ride for a couple months now, and although it may look ready, we'll still have to wait a bit longer before we can all test it out for ourselves. They also announced at D23 that the Hatbox Ghost will materialize and join the other 999 happy haunts at the Haunted Mansion. The Hatbox Ghost made its debut at Disneyland in 2015, and they announced he would be at Magic Kingdom in 2023. No exact season or date was announced, but hopefully this happens sooner rather than later next year. Number 1 One of the most bizarre portions of the park panel was a 10-minute segment about Blue Sky Ideas. It was pretty much a brainstorming session where Imagineers talked about the possibilities of new lands that could come to fruition. First, Imagineers discussed that a reimagining of Dinoland at Disney's Animal Kingdom is actually on the table. 
With the removal of Primeval World last year, it's been pretty clear that Disney has this area in mind for something new. Well, Imagineers presented the ideas of Zootopia and Moana taking over Dinoland. They presented us with this piece of concept art, which shows a moana theme section replacing Chester and Hester's Dinorama. Then way in the back over here is Zootopia, which appears to take over Dinosaur. The Moana plans for Dinoland seem like the most flushed out blue sky idea that could actually happen. And I think with having Finding Nemo just next door, they could tie it all together really nicely. I mean, her story is one of adventuring beyond the reef, connecting with nature. I mean, in order to heal a broken world and save her people. And I can just imagine getting to journey with her, trying to fight off the Kakamora, meeting mysterious animals and creatures of the deep. It would be thrilling. So, if they reuse Triceratops' spin in its current position for the spinner, this before and after is probably how Moana will be placed in the area. The current Dinoland gift shop would be reused as the Moana gift shop seen in the art, and a log flume style ride would be built over where Primeval World used to be. If this happened, it could mean Dinosaur would stay open during the construction of the new area. Then, if a Zootopia area actually comes to fruition, that could be a phase two. But I would totally be okay if Zootopia gets cancelled and we get to keep Dinosaur. Who knows, maybe in the next year we'll actually get confirmed plants. It's big, it's beautiful, it's over the top. And I'd hesitate even to call this a concept. But I love this one. It's a good one. But I love this one. I know. I know. Then they pose the question, What exactly is beyond Big Thunder? I mean, it's a burning question I'm sure we've all had. Never. But apparently there are plans to possibly expand Magic Kingdom that way. Now, beyond the spires of Big Thunder Mountain could be the town of St. Cecilia from Coco. What if we can climb on board the back of Albrie and fly into the land of the dead? Or what if we do talk about Bruno and bring Encanto into the parks? What if you could walk into the Madrigal's casita, meet the family? What if Maribel is your guide, introducing you to all the wonder within those walls? Then Josh Tomorrow chimed in. And it's a fun idea that's always in the back of our minds. In an er it's an area overrun by villains. Can you just imagine an entire land themed to the villains? Now that would be incredibly popular. When you look at this concept art compared to the Dino Land art, clearly they're further along at Animal Kingdom, and I can't see a Magic Kingdom expansion happening until well after Tiana's Bayou Adventure is complete. But seeing and hearing these blue sky ideas is actually pretty exciting. So out of everything listed in this video, what are you looking forward to the most? I'd love to know. Leave a comment down below to start a conversation, and don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video.